Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. We're mm -hmm. gonna, we're this gonna, is more for fun. We're going to talk about Disneyland's rival, Knott's Berry Farm, roasting Disney, roasting Fantasmic, if you guys remember uh, the dragon in Fantasmic. Murphy. Murphy the dragon. Murphy the dragon caught on fire in April. And that was in the uh, Fantasmic show. And guy, I remember we had a bunch of people that were like, <laughs> I was going to bring it up. Yeah, know. a bunch of people that were, well, a bunch of people, like two freaking morons Idiots. on low IQ furries. Never been, never been, obviously. Obviously, I've never been. Obviously, I've never been to Disneyland. Uh, saying Clownfish TV is like cheering on people potentially getting killed. Those in the audience could get burned to death. No. Way to go. No, they could not. Uh, Tell me you've never been there without telling me you've never been there. There is a large body of water between the audience and the stage. And uh, in fact, all the actors in Fantasmic are trained stunt professionals. They know what they're doing. Now, they didn't expect the dragon to catch on fire. No, I mean, they were in danger more than anybody else. But the yeah. audience was fine. And they're like, oh my God, the audience was in danger and you're making fun of it. I'm like... Oh my God. Danger. You clearly have never been. I think it's so funny. It's like these these people stand for Disney so hard, and then they're like, obviously they've never been. And but then I'll tell you, well, you're entitled because you've been. Piss no, off. no, we just make it up. Remember, Clownfish lies. We've never been to Disney. All the time. That's right. That's right, guys. We just lie to hurt Disney's feelings. But this one, this one's funny. So this is Knott's, funny. Knott's Berry Farm. Every year before like Halloween, they have this the hanging show, and they do like the roast, and they roast actors or theme parks around Disneyland all the time. Yes. So apparently this year they made some digs about the Maleficent dragon that they nicknamed Murphy. Yes. Catching on fire and it's flipping funny and they make some digs about uh, the Star Cruiser. So we're going to we're going to talk about this. We're going to skip around this video. This is coming from Theme Park Insider who has it on uh, his YouTube channel. So props to him. We're just doing a reaction or her. I don't know if it's him or her. Him or her. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is pretty interesting stuff. Let me see if I can if I can uh, pull up the bits here. Yeah, they start me. off like playing like the Maleficent music, like when the Maleficent starts showing, the dragon starts showing up. Yeah, so let me um, let me turn the audio on here, and then we're gonna we're gonna look at this. Obviously, this shows for adults because. He says, fuck me on stage. I'm like, man, I could have got a job there if you're allowed to say that on stage. Okay, just to clarify. Just to clarify. Yeah, he's not that kind. He it's says, like, fuck as, me. As an exclamation. As an exclamation. He not, doesn't say. He's not offering. He doesn't <laughs> offer the audience. Yes, please, please uh, do something to me on stage. That's not what we're talking about. So let's let's react to this here. Oh, okay. Oh, that was violent. Okay, so now he's going to summon the dragon. That music sounds familiar. That's kind of it. Oh, look, it's on fire. <laughs> Where'd you get from Anaheim? I can't understand what he's saying. Yeah, I don't know what they're saying. Uh, now, where's the other bit? They that said was... that they laid him off too. Well, then he wasn't going to put it out. He's going to put the he's going to put the dragon out. Oh yeah, here out. we go. <laughs> I got that reference. Yes, it's... like the waterfall <laughs> color. Can you hear the money going down the drain? Yes, yeah, being flushed. Wait, no, wait. Now they're going to make fun of the Galactic Star Cruiser. Okay. All right. That dragon went down faster than the Galactic Star Cruiser. Wait, Ooh. wait. Now they give an Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer himself could have made a bigger bomb. Okay. So that's, that's enough. Um... That's I funny. thought it was funny. I thought it's it was just, really just more funny. funny. Everybody's everybody's mocking Disney at this point. I mean, they always mock Disney, but they have a reason to. They were there like what in the twenties, and Disney showed up. Oh God, up. yeah. So Knott's Berry Farm and Disneyland, yeah, they've been rivals for years. I, I used to go to both parks when I lived in California. We used to go like every summer. We'd go down to the OC. Never been to Knott's Berry and, Farm. Um, been to Disneyland, but not Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, Knott's Berry Farm is more like a a locals park. Like it, it feels kind of like a hometown park. It actually feels very similar to Kennywood. Um, they have good chicken. 
And they've got lots of Snoopy stuff. They had lots of Snoopy stuff. I knew they stuff. used to have know. Snoopy stuff. I don't know if they still do. I haven't been to Knott's Berry Farm probably since like 1992 ish. <laughs> it's been a long I time. I haven't been so. Yeah. yeah so, um, no, it's, it, I think that's freaking hilarious. I mean, this is like everybody's just like roasting Disney and they're, they're just striking out. I mean, Disney has, has ripped off Knott's a couple times. I guess the reason they built Splash Mountain in the first place was to compete with Knott's because they had a log flume ride. But did their log flume ride have like all the animatronics and stuff? I don't, I'm trying to remember. No, I was on before. It had like lumberjack crap in it. I was going to say, I can't, you you don't like those rides. I'm surprised they got you on it. Oh, they tricked me to go on it. Okay, that makes more sense. He really does not like anything with drops. I I, I don't like big drops. Yeah, I have a, I have a hard time. Well, I was like, it was so weird, you know, talking about like Disneyland and um, like, I like Space Mountain and Disneyland. It's a, it's a lot smoother yes and they're proper ride vehicles they don't just put you in like a little bobsled and yeah it's like whatever the, the matterhorn the matterhorn vehicles in disneyland are what you're on on space mountain at walt disney world it's like yes. that and i i don't they're like awful. those vehicles i can't fit in them i'm too tall yeah people are like then, oh my god neon how fat are you i'm like no i'm, I'm too i'm like way too tall he's just tall yeah and i had to like bend myself in, and plus i have a bad back too so i'd like bend myself in half to fit in this stupid well you don't thing. ride seven dwarfs mine train either i can't you fit call on it the, seven dwarfs mine pain i rode it <laughs> twice i've ridden it twice and i had a hard time walking after each like the, and not in a fun way all seven um. dwarves gave it to me really hard <laughs> But, um, you know, like, yeah, at Disneyland, their Space Mountain is like a two-seater ride vehicle, kind of like the like when you were on Splash Mountain at Disney World and you were in a two, two-seater vehicle. Yep. And then Splash Mountain Disneyland was in like the one single person, like traditional log flume. Yeah. D- so. Disneyland's Space Mountain. Anyway, the story, the story here is like I was so used to riding Disneyland's Space Mountain that when I rode – Walt Disney World Space Mountain for the first time. I was expecting basically the same ride, and it's, no. it's not the same ride at all. Yeah, like Squid King will ride that one with you at Disneyland, but yeah. he's I don't think he'll ride the one at Disney World. Pinky Boo loves oh, I, it. Uh, yeah. I'm the only one that'll go on it with her is me, that's so like, I always go with her. That's like a backyard carny coaster. Even though he, he might like it. it now, though, because he like likes like Everest and stuff, so he possibly. Yeah, but it's just it's just it's rickety. It's uncomfortable. There's no music. Like at Disneyland's, they pipe the music no, there's, in. There's some, there's, is there sounds? I think it's a space sounds. I'm trying to remember. I haven't been on a couple. Like, Disneyland's actually has a soundtrack. And did it's I go like on it last come, time we were down there? I think you. I did, but I don't remember. So I, think I, was, I went on it last time, but I don't remember. I was very disappointed. Yeah, I got tricked into riding the, the log flume rides, both parks, actually. I'm surprised because you that's not something you would ride. Yeah, I mean, I ride them now. I do ride them now. I just don't. You don't, if you have a choice, you don't. I ride them now. <laughs> Usually, no, it's like this. If if it he will were, not do ta- he will not do Tower of Terror. I will not do Tower of Terror. That's literally. He just won't do Rock and Roller Coaster either. But that I don't one probably, ride, that one banged your head around so hard. I hate. I probably wind up in a wheelchair if I did. I mean, yeah, I'm not. I'm not even me. joking. Like my my back injury. If I if I did if I did Rock and Roller Coaster, I'd probably wind up like in a wheelchair or something. So I'm not even. Up, anyway, behind the back more to the point fun of thing. this. So yeah, so I just thought it was funny because they poked they poked fun at Disneyland, but then they they threw shade it at the Galactic Star Cruiser, which is this is the last week it's open, yeah, and then no one knows what's going to happen to it. That's an awful lot of money they sunk into this, you know, hotel. It's just going to sit there. Yeah, I mean they could have done other things. They could have found ways to rework it, but instead they're just shutting it down for now. I'm sure they'll bring it back as something else. I don't see them letting it sit there. Oh, it's going to be a corporate lounge. I don't think so. There's too much money in it, and there's too many rooms. I think they'll turn it into something else. <laughs> Sex cave. No, that's not what they're gonna do. What's <laughs> that be your go to? What's wrong with you? It's Disney. I was, I was it's thinking, magic. Like, I was thinking something like we already have the DVCs and they're so exclusive and like the Riviera, the beds fall off the wall. And this one, they'll be like, here's a little closet. It's gonna, and we're gonna theme it to something else and it's gonna cost you even more than before. There's an Ewok in a thong waiting for you <laughs> in room number five. Uh, little Yubby, she's ready to go. <laughs> Is the other one numb? You're not into that? Oh, we got... Was the other one numb? <laughs> yeah, I've been numb. Two for, two for the price of one, guys. we got to make some of this money back. Uh, <laughs> no, numb's the male equivalent. I mean... I'm just saying. Uh, are you not into that? we got porgs. You know, you get a whole basket full of porgs. Scam guards. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Are you done? Nah. <laughs> 
I've been to. I, I'm so checked out from Disney at this. Like this even is Disney funny, news, it, it's funny. But I'm just like, we just wanted something that was funny because we're just tired of it. Everybody sees it. Like I don't even the thought. Like I, I really want to go down. I'm not probably not gonna have a chance to go this year. I really want to go Halloween Horror Nights. Um, but. But like even going to Disneyland, like the last time I went to Orlando, I just I skipped Disney completely and <laughs> just went to Universal. Yeah. And I'm like, even now, I'm like, yeah, I, I could do Universal for a day or two, but I don't want to go to Disney. I'm I'm so I do want to go, but I, I miss it. It's because I ride the Honda Mansion over and over because I like that ride. But um, but but then I'm also thinking like, okay, this is truth. I, so I mean, we're totally going off topic now, but because we're just talking Disney in general. So I was thinking about theme parks the other day. And then they're talking about, okay, so there's this girl apparently, and there's a whole thread about how she goes, and one of them was Universal, I think, one some Universal coasters were among them. There's apparently a list of coasters that she screwed, because she's sexually attracted to coasters. Wow, this, okay. So, apparently she got on these coasters, and, and, and I'm assuming she like got on with like a skirt on or she something. She got on and got off. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you see that, like, out underpants there's or something? There's a big drop at the and end. And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, I didn't see the list, but apparently there was some, some from her she park on there too um and i was like so you people just didn't know and got on the ride after her and just sat where she sat and everything else not knowing and then it's just sweat it's and then fine. I was thinking about the stuff. You it's don't natural. know what the stuff's on the seat. Like, I can totally see people on <laughs> oh, Splash God. Mountain. I can see people on Splash Mountain when it was operating. Oh. I can see them peeing on, in, in the in the. Thing. I have to pee. Well, I'll just pee here because we're going to get wet anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get wet on this ride. Well, we already know. We already know. She already did that. We already know that, um, like, people were peeing, like, off of the Pirates of the Caribbean boats. And the people in Small World apparently done it before. I mean, I would never go in that water or touch that water if you paid me. And then you're on pirates that splashes you in the face. Well, then you somebody that... stuck their hand in the water, got the freaking hand. I know, but I was like, you don't know what's in that damn water. I hope they gave them lots of shots so they ripped their hand off because, I mean, <laughs> I mean we're like, they probably got like some kind of flesh eating something on top of it. Oh, but... oh, okay. I was, I was thinking like alcohol shots, and no, I was thinking I meant, like they like, get you know, free drinks. You lose if your you, hand. If you lose a limb at Disney. Like, Shots, uh, you get, but I'm you just get thinking about it, and then alcohol. I was thinking about theme parks, and and you don't know what people were doing, or what they were licking, or what they were touching. Ratatouille, Ratatouille, yes, exactly. If you don't know, what we're talking about. We have a video on it. Go look it up. Where some guy got in trouble because he was he was pulling out his rat, in Ratatouille. He was putting the ooey in Ratatouille. Oh, you know? oh God, oh God. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I get thinking about this, and then I'm like, I want to go back to the theme park, and then I think about it, and I'm like. I don't know if I do because I'm kind of scared now. So now I'm like, oh God, I'm afraid to ask this question. Cast member horror stories. Oh, they have a bunch. What have you had to clean up in those theme parks? Oh, please tell us in the comments. Oh my God. If you're, <laughs> if you're a cast member. Or a team member. Or a team Universal member. Or, or another theme park employee of some kind. What's the biggest mess you've ever had to clean up? I don't know if I want to know though. Does that just take all the magic out I of mean, it? I mean, I definitely don't want to go to theme parks. You know, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. This really went down a different path. But, you know. Wow. We're gonna, well, we're they were like, roasting Disney. We, can... we are literally just, like, that tired of it. We just wanted something that was kind of fun so we could at least laugh because we're so damn tired of it every day. There's, like, dismal Disney something. And it's like, oh, my God. Can we not? But that was funny because uh, Knott's Berry Farm thought, thought they should make fun of them, too. And they're just joining the club. So. Yeah. If you work at Knott's Berry Farm and you've had to clean up some messes, you know. Somebody got, uh... Did someone actually say, fuck me and me it that way? Oh, God. Are we going to wrap this up? Yeah, this is... Good. We're getting demonetized in this video. Probably. That's okay. That's Probably. okay. Whatever. We're awful people. We know. We know. All the Disney... All the Disney stands. Well, Disney knows. Disney all right, we'll talk, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's the reef.support.